Today in our 2015 Ram 1500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the current Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13374. This is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. You can see the cross tube a little bit, but it does have a rounded design to fit the contour of the vehicle. It's going to be a Class 3. It's going to be 2 inch by 2 inch. It's going to have a 5 8 inch hitch pin hole, plate style safety chain hookup. It's going to fit many different size safety chain hooks. It also is going to have a reinforced collar to give you a little extra stability on the receiver tube. Now you're going to have a 600 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. And you're going to have a 6,000 pound max trailer weight, which is your trailer plus your load included. Now I do recommend checking your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. Now you can use weight distribution with this hitch. Your tongue weight is going to go up to 1,000 pounds max and your trailer weight is going to go up to 10,000 pounds max. Now we will give you a couple measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about two and a half inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 20 inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we need to do to begin our installation is you're going to have a bolt right back here on the back of your bumper beam. We're going to need to remove that. We're going to be using a 1316 socket. You want to make sure you use a socket wrench instead of a power tool at first. So you make sure you don't break the head off of the bolt or strip any threads. We're going to repeat that on the other side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pull wire, our smaller spacer block, and one of our carriage bolts. And we're going to do it in reverse. We'll put our spacer block on, thread on our carriage bolt. And we're going to put the carriage bolt up in the hole first, file the spacer block, and drop back down the hole. Now you want to make sure you don't just pull these wires off because we're going to need them in one of our other steps. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we put our hitch into place. And we're going to be reinstalling the bolts that we removed from the bumper beam. Next we'll take a flange nut and we're going to put it on our bolt toward the front of the vehicle. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Next we're going to take our larger spacer block, another one of our carriage bolts, and our pull wire. This time we're going to go through this hole in the back of the bumper beam and we're going to come out down here on the end. Now we're going to take a spacer block, put it on, go ahead and pass it into the hole. Now we're going to thread on our carriage bolt. Pull it. Until our bolt comes out. Now we'll go ahead and put a flange nut on that one. And then we'll do the other side. Once you got all your hardware in place, you can tighten everything down. And we'll be using a three-quarter inch socket to tighten these. And you're going to repeat that on the other side of the vehicle. And we'll be using the same three-quarter socket to tighten these two. Once you have all your hardware tightened down, you can torque it down to the specifications and the instructions. And you're going to repeat that for all remaining hardware. That'll do it for the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13374 on our 2015 Ram 1500.